and I'm going to use the rebate table then in the method to show you about the transfer duties. Transfer duties is what you pay the tax on your property. Okay, so it's the exact same method, but you're going to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to use the rebate table as an example so that you also have to revise that. And then I'm going to show you an example of the transfer duty table. Okay, so the first step you do for a rebate table is to, to um, determine your bracket. In other words, you'll see there's an example. This is, oh, by the way, it comes out of your finance notes. But don't stress in looking for it, just look on the board. So wherever your amount falls into your salary there, annually, so if they give you a month's salary, you have to multiply it by 12. And then you choose your bracket. Are you with me? Okay, so let's do the example. I'm going to take the board back to this side. Okay, so they say that Tina earns 145000 According to the bracket, you would see that it falls into this little bracket in between 112 and 110. Are you with me? I'm not going to take it back to the table now, but you understand where we get that from. Okay. According to that, this is the formula we use. It comes from the tax table, the rebate table. They say, yeah, look here, this is what they give you. Of the amount. The of amount is the salary. Can you see that? Look in the next line. Plus that of the salary above that. So you deduct whatever is in the formula. Read it with me, then it's going to make sense. It says... Of the amount above 112. In other words, anything you earn above that amount, you get taxed on according to the formula. Are you with me? So if you earn that, then you have to calculate the difference between the two. Can you see that? Can you see? If I say anything above 10 and you earn 12. Then you're going to subtract the two to see what is the difference. Can you see that is what we do here? Yes. Okay. So this is how we calculate it. Remember it applies both my brackets first. Then you get that. The off becomes a multiplication. And then that's your taxable or payable tax. And then you'll do the rebate. I don't want to focus on the rebate today. I want to take this example. And I want to give you an example of a, of a transfer duty. So this is how a transfer duty works. You have your value of your property. Can you see it looks similar to the tax rebate table? Yes. Can you see that? So when I buy a property of let's say 1.8 million. Okay? So we're going to write it like that. One, two, three. Six. Okay? Does it make sense to you that it's going to fall in what bracket? Can you see exactly the same step as we did with the rebate table? Can you see that line? So we're going to take this and where are you going to put it in here? Now my darling, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? It's going to fall in the third column. Can you see that? The third row, the fourth one. Can you see that it's in between 1.75 and 2250? You see, it's similar to the rebate table. The big difference between the two is it's a once-off transfer duty you give. So you're not going to work annually and multiply the salary like you did and multiply it by 12. But Georgia, are you with me? So you're just going to take the property value and choose your row. So you're going to use this little formula. Are you all with me? So you're going to write it down. You're going to say... 45,000 plus the 8% of the value above. Can you see you're going to do the same 8% off? So you're going to say what? 180 million, 1.8 million minus 175,000. Can you see we're doing this exact same thing? But there we would have put the value as the property. 
in the value. Now we're putting the value of the property in there, not the salary. Can you see the difference? But it's the same method. Are you with me, level fours? Okay, when you calculate 8% of an amount, you're going to say multiply with the 50,000. Are you with me? 8% of 50,000 is going to be 4,000. Then you still need to add the 45,000, which leaves you with 49,000. Okay. Are you with me? 